starting to feel those double espressos. I love them. They're so good, baby. They are. I'm starting mm -hmm. to get pumped up. Yeah. So now what? Now we're going to go to uh, the Albert, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, the Albert Cook Market. Cute. Cute. I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they, it's an outdoor market. It's almost like a farmer's market. Uh, they have handmade local things from local vendors there. We're going to have to try a little bit of food over there. As long as they got some stroop waffles. Where's that? And the little pancakes, what are they called? Uh, the little ones? Profiges. Yes, I like those. Uh -huh. We're going to go get some. Yes, ready? Ready. We popped into the local Dunkin' Donuts over here to get some water, but check out these custom donuts you will not find in the States. Stroop waffle, that is pretty cool. And over here, you have the cookie that we had, the lotus cookies on top of a glaze. Look at that. Yeah, so they have a unique donuts here in the Amsterdam Dunkin' Donuts. Where are we now, babe? We made it to Albert Cole Market. We it, we really took our time, huh, baby? Yeah, so we walked. We about an hour and a half, maybe almost two hours, because we really took our time. But it's really only like a 30, 40 minute walk, almost like a two mile walk. So it wasn't too bad. But it's like a farmer's market. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get our uh, profiges and we're going to get our kibbling. And what else? Uh, you're having some Bitter kibbling. Balling. I don't know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Satay, which is recommended for here. This is supposedly a traditional dish. It's served with the peanut sauce. Yeah, we did try a sample of their we chicken. Did. It's a good chicken. Yes. Here we go. Mm. And peanut sauce. Usually I'm used to a peanut sauce, like a peanut butter. Different. Our chicken is seasoned, but peanut sauce has a peanut essence to it, but oh, and it has a little smashed peanuts in there too, but it has like a, it's like mixed with soy sauce or something, and along with this chicken, which is nicely fried. This is excellent. So it's different from a Thai peanut sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this chicken uh, like a saute a try here. If you get the uh, chicken without sauces, they have this on the table so you could help yourself. Definitely the peanut sauce is different from a traditional Thai peanut mm -hmm. sauce. You do taste the peanuts in it, but it does have some kind of other ingredient. It's really good though. With this rotisserie chicken and the sauce, great little local dish here. Be sure to come and see him. Nicest guy. Oh yeah, good guy. This is normally an Amsterdam stable. It's herring and it's served with onions and pickles. We're not going to get it on this trip, but we've had it before and Kind of reminded us of like sushi, huh, baby? Yeah, you gotta be a fan of sushi yeah. to like it, cause it's raw, right? It's raw. Yeah. We found a little juice place here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a little small one. Yes. Uh, we're, gonna, strawberry beast. we're gonna see how they compare to Smoothie King. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out, babe. Hey, that's very refreshing. You can tell that they juice everything just right here. Or, oh. Uh, no yeah. extra artificial flavors or sugars or nothing. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. It tastes like a very kind of a strawberry banana taste. It does. It, the strawberry banana, apples, and something else. Yeah, orange. Don't taste the apple and orange, but you can taste the strawberry banana. Oh, yeah. It's probably the most healthiest drink on this trip. Yep, it is. We found the booth here that has the profiges and stroop waffles. Man, this looks pretty good. I think we're gonna all have to order one of each and see how it is.
Thank you. Thank you. Fresh stroop waffle. Nice and warm. Stroop waffle is like a really thin, I don't know if it's a waffle. Yeah, it is. A waffle. It is. Super thin waffle but with thin. caramel in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's like a wafer thin. Yes. With caramel in the middle, fresh done. Yeah, no, ladies first this time. <laughs> Crunchy like a wafer cookie. That caramel is perfect. Though. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Now, they sell the pre-packaged ones that are a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. like a 10-pack or something. Mm -hmm. Those are great to take home because you put those on top of your coffee so it gets kind of warm. warm from mm -hmm. the coffee. Great snack. In fact, we might buy some. Mm -hmm. yeah. It melts in, in the middle. It melts the caramel in the middle. Mm -hmm. When you put it right on top of your coffee, almost like a cover. Now I'm leaving it there for a few minutes. Yeah. Pick it up nice and warm. Strip more full, plus you have it with your cup. Oh, yeah. Very good. It's getting a little cold out of here, so mm -hmm. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, this is when you come to Albert Cool. This is why you come, because it is fresh and local. Yes. Yep. That's it right there. Mm. Where's our espresso? Mm -hmm. booth right next to the soup waffle is the propages, the little pancakes. So she's making our pancakes, so we're going to have it with Nutella. Alrighty, we're ready for these little pancakes. So we had butter and sugar. Here's the butter. So I peeled off some butter. This is Nutella on top. We've never had it with Nutella before. Here we go. Butter, sugar, and Nutella. Mm. A little mini pancakes. Perfectly cooked. When you come to Amsterdam, you have to get this. This is um taste of Amsterdam breakfast in this little dish. Mm -hmm. Hot. Mm -hmm. They taste like mini Dutch pancakes. Mm -hmm. Moist in the middle. Uh, the edges a little bit crispy. Mm -hmm. And Nutella is, you know, you put Nutella on anything, it tastes good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a great like breakfast. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. Good Excellent. Putting a little bit of butter in between each pancake. Now you're going all crazy, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap from this Albert Kip uh -huh. market. We got a little full from what we had, so we mm -hmm. couldn't try those Kiplings, which are like the little uh, fried fish, fried fish nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. So, so next time. Mm -hmm, next time when we come back. Yep. So we do a little bit more walking around outside mm -hmm. the market and see what we see. Mm -hmm. And a lot more things are open now. So uh, this is eleven thirty around there. Yeah. So around eleven, eleven thirty. Uh, it is a Wednesday, so maybe not as busy as on the weekend, but there are a lot of people here still. Yep. So we're walking from the uh, market, and mm -hmm. we came across the Heineken Experience. Yeah. I don't know if we could get tickets or not. I don't know. I think it may be where we just passed, babe. A little update on the Heineken Experience. Mm -hmm. It's going to run too close to what we're doing later today, so we're just going to go shop in the store. Yeah, even though the sign says they open at 10.30, mm -hmm. they don't open until 12. Right, actually. so recommended to go online and get your ticket because that probably was the most accurate of when you can uh, sign up for your experience. Right, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go to the company store though and see what's up. Yes. As you can tell, there's construction going on, but we're the first ones in the store. Let's go shopping. Yes, you don't have to take the tour to go to the store. No, you don't. The clog keychains. That's pretty cute. 
this. Yeah, I like this. I think we can get this one. Here's some special bottled Heineken's. These are full bottles here. So it's pretty neat. This one too. The tram that's on top because the trains are on the bottom. The tram is on the top. Is the GVB. We're gonna take it back to our hotel. Here's our ticket. It was yes. Only like three euros. Three twenty. Three twenty mm -hmm. euros. And this one's good for one hour. Yeah. They also have a day one, but we're not spending the whole day traveling, and it was only like a seven or eight euros. So I mean, that's a deal if you're gonna travel the city and use the public transportation. Right. And they do sell the tickets right at the stop. I'm not sure if it's every stop, but they sell it at least at this stop. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, there's a little ticket. Everywhere, not everywhere, but I would say 99% of the places that you use your credit card and you just tap and go. So just keep that in mind. Um, they only use euros here, but if you don't have any cash or any euros on you, a lot of the places are tap and go with your credit card. Yes. So now we're just waiting for a tram. Yeah. That was a cool ride, and it literally drops us off right in front of our hotel. It does. Oh, uh, what though? Public transportation? Mask. Gotta wear masks. As of right now, things yeah. may change later, but for now, you gotta wear masks. Yes. For this afternoon, we signed up for a three hour tour. We did. Mm -hmm. We're gonna check out the windmills, mm -hmm. a cheese mm -hmm. place, and a clog factory. Clog factory. That sounds like fun. Yes. Yeah. So, finally getting out of the city. So, yeah, it's the first time. Uh, we, yeah, we know we can do it probably on our own, but we don't, don't want to get lost. So, we went with a tour guide. That's right. And we're going to have a good time. I hope so. Yeah, we will. places for Qatari's things about. Uh, normally we'll also stop at a wooden shoe workshop for the demonstration of the shoe made. Uh, but they're just here to maintain the grass in a natural way. They feed their most of different fields. So it just so happened on our tour, we're the only people who signed up for the tour, right. so we have like an own personal guide. Right. Yeah. I guess that's the advantage of things just starting back up again. Mm -hmm. The wooden clog factory, they were closed today, unfortunately, but we did got some pictures and videos on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's a gift shop here, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit closer to the other windmills on the plane. And they're all working with mills, they are. which is really cool. Yes. What's interesting is like this area is so picturesque that when you see postcards of Amsterdam or windmills or anything, it's you think it's fake. You know, it's maybe photoshopped in or something, but it's not. It's no. actually this area. Yeah, it's it's right here. Mm -hmm. It is. It's uh, 20 minutes out of the city. This tour is really good. The guide is very, very good. He really explains things uh, to us, which mm -hmm. is really nice. So we kind of like the smaller party with our own personal guide. Baby. Can't beat it, right? You can't beat it. This is where we are. Hey babe, she's cutting the cheese. She's cutting the cheese. So we got through uh, with the little demonstration on how they make the cheese. Mm -hmm. That was taste test time. Yeah. Here we go, this is all cows. Cheers. This one nice and mild. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. It's not that sharp at all. Mm -hmm. This is the young, young cow one. Not I like the young cow one, one yeah. The other one is organic. Mm. Mm. That's even more milder, the organic. It is. Mm -hmm. It's still very good. Hello. It really tastes really creamy. It does. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the one that you can't take back to the U.S. This is the unpasteurized Unpasteurized, one. yeah. It's 
stronger taste. Very yeah. sharp taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not super sharp, but definitely sharper of the three. Mm -hmm. Organic is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like all three. Really? Yeah, they're really good. Just tried the garlic one too. And that garlic one, very garlicky. Oh, it's very smooth as well. I can imagine that in a really good sandwich. Yeah, they have so many different kinds here. They do. What are they doing here, babe? They're actually making yellow paint. So they're making the paint, they get uh, rocks, and then they smush them, they smush them, they smush them, and it, they have the windmills running these, and they're crushing the rocks to really, really almost fine dust, so you can make a pigment of whichever color you're doing. And those are the rocks that they look at. And they're making yellow today. Yep, and that's what it looks like. So we're gonna get a burger. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's gonna like call. Exact change. Yeah, exact change. Do it like that. There's two left. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yay! Ready? Look at this package. It has like stuff in there, like some sort of veggies or something in there. Yeah. So it's not just a regular beef patty. No, it has your sauce and your lettuce. Let's try it out. Hmm. It's um. It's Where not as it? it's not as good as a like a McDonald's cheeseburger. No, it tastes like a sausage patty. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little bit different meat. Mm. Mm, for three euros, kind of borderline. I don't know if it's worth it. Mm. At least we tried it. Well, anyway, it's one of those self-serve places. There's a lot of them around here in mm -hmm. Amsterdam. Put your chains in and uh, pick out your food. Yep. For our last night dinner, mm -hmm. we're going to eat at Bravi Ragazzi. Mm -hmm. I'm in the mood for pasta. So yes. I some pasta. Okay. Our first Heineken, babe. Yep. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Our, our first Prost. one? Yes. Prost. Prost. Oh, it's our first one. Oh, yeah, we did have a different one. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. It's good. Carbonara. I was in the mood for some pasta, so this is gonna be perfect. Here we go. Let's try this out. Here we go. Really taste that meat in there. It's creamy, it's hot. <laughs> the noodles are cooked out, don't um, this is 
you can taste the smoky and the smokiness of that meat. This is a perfect last dinner for this trip in Amsterdam. I was in the mood for some lasagna. This is a lasagna al forno, which I think it means with meat sauce. Let's try this out. Here we go. My eyes are tearing, Casa. It was so hot. <laughs> Great flavor on that, on that tomato sauce right here. The flavor of the cheese comes through really good. Uh, the meat, of course, can't beat that. I think it's a mixture of beef and pork. Probably the same as your carbonara. But yeah, this is super delicious, but super hot. I'm gonna let this cool down so I can eat a little bit quicker, but it's excellent. That is gonna be a wrap from Amsterdam. That was a good, um, almost two days. Yeah, almost two days. We walked a lot. Today was like, how many miles? Nine, today? 10 miles today. Yeah, my feet are killing me. Yeah, we gotta burn off the food some way. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, any uh, any takeaways and high points on this trip? Oh gosh, um, it was not busy right now. Um, so it was kind of nice because we didn't have busy streets or anything <laughs> like that. Um, we did um, miss the food, so I'm glad we had some of the, the food that we missed. Right, like, right. Like the soup waffle. And, oh yeah, uh, the yeah. puffages and stuff like that. Bit of balance. Mm -hmm. Next time we have to stay longer because we have to visit our cousins that are here. Yeah, that's uh, right. Tammy that's, and Winnie. That's we right. Make sure we can visit them. Um, I think that's it, baby. Yeah, uh, we talked to some of the locals here and there. They're they're afraid that they're on the verge of being closed again. Yeah, shut not down. Sure yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hopefully they won't. Hopefully yeah. everything's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Are there any shout outs, babe? We do. Um, Bonnie, happy birthday. Chelsea, happy birthday. Uh, Lisa from Torrance, happy birthday. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, happy birthday. He's gonna go visit his daughter in Chicago. Okay. Beautiful city. Beautiful nice. city. Uh, Bryce and Kelsey, happy engagement. Ryan and Madeline, happy anniversary. John and Sarah, happy anniversary. And um, Prince. Preston is sending much love to Megan and Branson and we're all sending the love to all of you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, for sure. Thank you everybody. Uh, congratulations on uh, marriage, uh, happy birthdays. <laughs> Everything. Babe. Everything. All of the above. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up again from Amsterdam in the Netherlands mm -hmm. and we'll catch you guys in the next one.